Good morning, Hexcare Friday Eagles. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. So it's Tuesday, 2 22 22. That's a lot of twos. That's a lot of twos. We're happy that you're here back for another week of teaching and learning. We hope that you had a great weekend. And today is day three, and let's start off our day with Miss Pila's class introducing themselves and leading us in the pledge. Jack, Isabella, Samuel, Jack, Kate, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. All right, we're back. And because it's still February, we're celebrating Black History yes. Month. So we want to talk about two famous black Americans. Um, the first one is, let's see which one he puts up. Rosa Parks, okay. that's you. Rosa Parks. Okay, so Rosa Parks was um, uh, born and raised in Alabama, in Michigan and Alabama there. And she was the civil rights activist. And she's famous for the Montgomery bus boycott, which she stood up for uh, rules that were not fair as far as People that had to sit in certain parts of the bus based on the color of their skin, and she knew that was not right, and she stood up for that um, and did not move, and she stood up for, her, for what was right at that time. All right, and I have Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou was a writer, a poet, and a civil rights activist, and she is probably most famous for her autobiography, which was called I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. <coughs> And she was born in 1928, and then she passed away in 2014, so we're left with her amazing work, so Excellent. Maya Angelou. All right, it's not Monday, but it is Tuesday, yes. and it's the beginning of the week, so I'm anxious to hear some motivation okay. from Mr. Okay, so, you know, we are always talking about our three R's of being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn, and one of those words I want to really focus on is respect. You know, we, we talk about respect, but we want to make sure that we know exactly what that means with the respect. And it goes basically with the golden rule, which the golden rule is treat others the way you would want to be treated. And, you know, we talk about respect, but you know what? Maybe we need to talk about examples of how we can be respectful in the classroom. So each day of this week, I'm going to share some examples of ways you can be respectful in the classroom. So one could be just listening to classmates or the teacher when speaking. So that means if your classmates are speaking, if your teacher is speaking, that you give them your full attention. Yep. So you're not playing with anything in your desk or you're not looking away. Mm -hmm. You're giving them that full attention. That's active showing listening. active listening, showing that respect yep. towards whoever is speaking at that time. Um, another one could be working well with others, which means being positive, encouraging, taking turns. And that's showing respect as far as working well with others. Um, and another one could be is keeping your personal space. You know, we all have our own personal space. So showing respect to someone mm -hmm. is making sure. We keep your personal space, your hands are to yourself, and you're making sure respecting that person's area. Don't right touch there. their belongings, yep. things yep. like that. Absolutely. Awesome. So, yep. you know, we talk about the three R's, but let's kind of, we're going to talk about the respect and kind of ways you can show that respect um, here at school. Like it, like it. I forgot to mention, I noticed yep. you didn't have I know, tie I don't have my tie here. So, it ties in two twos for two, two, two today. Um, we do need to know, we have some birthdays, it looks like. So, happy birthday to Joni Georges in grade 5, Mia Perez Del Rio in grade 3, and Michael Vasquez in grade 4. So, happy birthday. Yep, hope you have a good day. Uh, crew, what's for lunch? Go ahead what's for lunch? Go ahead Ooh, nachos or chicken or peanut butter and jelly. Sounds good. Wonderful choices. There. Sounds good. Okay, that's it for today. We hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you all for being here. Thankful for thank you for remembering to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. And don't forget what other thing, everybody. What? Smiles are free. Smiles are free. So share one with a friend. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Tuesday.